Hey guys, today I am doing a movie recommendations, like my favorite movies kind of video. About a year or so ago, I did do something called the movie tag. I did it with Jess and Lauren. It was kind of just like a tag we developed about like different movies for different situations and stuff like that. And I really loved that video and that included a ton of my favorites, so I will link that below. But since then, I've discovered a ton, ton more movies I really love. And I didn't mention, I guess, every single one of my favorite movies in that video. And I'm not doing that today. I'm obviously gonna leave out a ton because I have way too many favorite movies, like it's a problem. But I did just wanna like, throw this out there because a lot of you guys really seem to be enjoying my TV show videos where I recommend TV shows to you guys. Obviously I have a problem so I'm not recommending you get as obsessed with these fictional things as I am but I still think that you should take my recommendations because they're pretty darn good so let's get started. Okay so my first movie recommendation is a series and it is not like Harry Potter or Twilight or anything like that because if you don't know about those then I don't know where you're even living. But this series is something I never watched as a kid growing up. These movies came out starting I think in the late 80s maybe early 90s and I never watched them until very very recently. So this is the Jurassic Park series and I know that sounds so bad most of you have probably already seen these. And Jurassic World finally came out on like TV like Showtime or something. And I really wanted to see that because I'm obsessed with Chris Pratt. I mean, look at this. Oh, gorgeous. I'm obsessed with him from like Parks and Rec to this. Thank you, Siren, for interrupting my raving about Chris Pratt. Mm. So I love Chris Pratt, so I really wanted to see that. And it was amazing. Like, honestly, guys, I'm not big on like action movies. And I can definitely never see them in a movie theater because that's just like way too loud, which... You know, in fact, I just think movies are too loud and prove that I'm 100 years old, but I don't really like action, mo action movies too much. I feel like because dinosaurs are clearly dinosaurs and not real live things that could be around in the world, it's not that scary. I thought the acting was good. I liked everyone in it. Of course, Chris Pratt is just like, oh God, I can't get enough of him. But I just thought it was really well done. Like I was really, really impressed with like every scene and it was really just like well-rounded and it pulled in a bunch of like the classic stuff with this. But I hadn't seen the classic movies before I had seen this one. After I saw that, I found the original two on like on demand or something. So I watched or three, the original three. My favorite is definitely the last one, like the most recent. I know it's bad, like most people wouldn't say that, but I really liked it. I really, really love the first and second one. Third one's okay. It's probably my least favorite. I just found it to be the most like, like, I don't know, like least interesting. I really like the guy from Jurassic Park and Jurassic Park 2. Can't remember his name. He's like on all those apartments.com commercials. <laughs> Um, but I really think he's a good actor, like I really find him interesting. There's supposed to be a Jurassic Park, Char Jurassic World 2 coming out this summer, maybe this summer, next summer. I'm so excited, I definitely want to see that. Of course, I'm going to be poor and wait to, until it's like one fifty to rent a Redbox and not go see it in theaters where it's like $20 and also where it's too loud and it's crowded because, uh, like I said, I'm 100. But I'd really recommend those movies, like even if you're like more of like a romantic comedy girl or you know, whatever, I would really recommend them. Like they're really, really, really good. Another one I just thought while I'm on the Chris Pratt train, um, Guardians of the Galaxy. I didn't really think that looked that good. Like from commercials, I was like kind of like, ugh, like, ugh kind of over it. I follow Chris Pratt on Insta not Instagram, um, on Instagram, I think, but um, Snapchat. And he's very, very funny. Like, he just, obviously, like, he's what you'd expect him to be. He was shooting Guardians of the Galaxy, and he was, like, behind the scenes and stuff. I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I never saw that. So I watched it on demand, and it was really good. Like, I did find it a bit confusing, just because, like, the whole world that it's in. But I really enjoyed it a lot. Like, I thought it had its very funny moments and its more serious moments and, like, it was just well-rounded. And, I mean, it's definitely not, like, my favorite favorite, but I just thought I'd throw it in there, like, just for some eye candy, you know. Um, and then this one. I don't know if I talked about this on my channel before, but I... I might have put it in, like, a vlog or something. I can't remember. But I watched The Danish Girl a couple of months ago when it came out on DVD, and I loved it. Like, honestly, from the commercials and, like, behind-the-scenes stuff I had seen, I knew it seemed interesting, but, like, there's a lot of movies like that, especially movies, like, that are nominated for Academy Awards that sometimes they like the, they have potential but like you can watch them and they can be so boring like they're just so slow and like nothing's happening and there's too many conversations like but it was so good like honestly if you have not seen that watch it and Eddie Redmayne I think that's his name the actor who's like the main character amazing oh that movie was just so beautiful so amazingly done all of the acting from everyone was so good the storyline oh it was oh unbelievable I would 100% recommend seeing it because it felt so like genuine and like oh, just amazing to watch that kind of movie so my next favorite movie which is actually I'd consider like my no I, I think I put it in a Q&A recently like, saying it was my number one favorite but that's because I had to answer that question but like, it's in my top five, definitely. Age of Adeline, 
oh my god, Age of Adeline is such a wonderful movie. If you like a Time Traveler's Wife, that movie is really good. Or About Time, that other movie with Rachel McAdams, both of those I would really like recommend. And if you liked those, then watch Age of Adeline. Blake Lively is obviously amazing, like everyone knows that, but Harrison Ford is in it and he's phenomenal. The whole cast was just so, the movie was just like, maybe it's just me, I don't know. Age of Adeline is about a woman who doesn't age. Ooh, okay, let's just put that right there. I'm not like ruining anything for you, I promise. And because obviously she's not aging, she's like just an older, like her, like she's been living for a longer amount of time, but she looks younger. And I felt, I don't know why, maybe I just feel like relating to that. Like obviously I'm still aging because I'm a normal human person, but I feel like an older person on the inside. Like I'm, I don't know, if you watch my videos, you know, I say this stuff all the time. Like I'm not just joking when I say I'm like a 65 year old woman because I am. Like that's how my lifestyle is, that's how my brain works. Like I have the emotions of a 65 year old woman. I just kind of feel like I related to that movie. I don't know. But it, not just that, like, but it's just, it's just a very, very well made movie. Like it's like, beautiful to watch, it really comes around. Like you understand the ending does not suck. And that's one thing I love. Like so many movies I love and then you get to the end, you're like, oh, that's the end. But this one wasn't like that. This one's like the end you see and you're just like wow this movie was perfect like there's nothing wrong with it um, oh this one i want to mention i think i put it in a my summer favorites recently and that is before we go now this movie i don't think anyone's ever heard of on netflix right now as i'm filming this i'm not sure if it will still be when this goes up it is so it has chris evans so i'm sure you guys know who he is and it has oh i can't remember her name she's irish she was the one in um she's out of my league but this movie is called it's called before we go it's on netflix i just found it one night it was like on my recommended list or something and it's a very kind of realistic kind of movie like it's not overdone or like oh that would never happen but it's just about two people who randomly run into each other and like don't know each other whatsoever in the city and they just like throughout the course of this night they're trying to help each other out with different problems that they're having and I find it so interesting and just so beautiful and like such a real movie and I cry so much in that like when I watch that movie I watch it like three times the ending of that movie is not perfect like, the ending of it I went back three times and like thought my Netflix was failing me and my Netflix just shut off at the end of the movie like I thought I'd missed the last 30 seconds I literally went back to watch it three times but the ending really is the way it is so I'm not ruining it for you, I'm just letting you know like when you come to the end of the movie and you think, oh my god, my internet just cut out, it didn't. That's just the end of the movie, which is kind of frustrating. So if you hate like endings like that, just I guess don't watch it. But it is so good, like right up until the end, it is very, very good. It's very realistic, like I don't know, like it gave me, I don't know why it gave me hope as a single person in the world. <laughs> I would really just recommend the movie, that movie, like not only are the two characters like gorgeous, like they're like honestly some of the most gorgeous people in, in the world, I think. Like so it's just enjoyable to watch these two very attractive people like be in a movie. They're also very good actors and I don't, you don't see Chris Evans in roles like this very often. This movie was just more like a indie movie I guess so definitely recommend that I don't know if anyone has watched this movie I'm not sure if it's on Netflix I will double check and like I'll leave the list of these movies below and like right if it's on Netflix next to it this movie is called the other woman and this is not the one that was with um, Cameron Diaz this is the one with Natalie Portman it is based on a novel called I have it the it's called love and what is it love and other impossible pursuits I read the novel after I saw the movie because I was so in love with this movie this is oh it's like a heartbreaking movie but it's so beautiful and like again another kind of like realistic movie like it's not one of those ones that's like super super fake you know what I mean but it's a very sad movie like it has very sad undertones I don't want to like tell you too much of what it's about but like I don't want to ruin movies for people like some people think I'm ruining it for them when I just give them like a small summary but um I guess you just don't watch this video if you don't want that. Um, <laughs> but okay, so this movie is about Mally Portman who is married and she has a stepson and she recently lost a baby. And so she kind of is going throughout this movie kind of recovering from that situation and just like having like dealing with her husband and her stepson and just kind of her whole life and trying to get back on track. So it's kind of like her, her journey and um, I find it to be un an amazing amazing movie and I since since reading the book um, I think they captured it very well there obviously are some differences like there always are but I thought that if I were to make a movie based on the book it would be very similar to what they did okay and then the, this is a movie I want to recommend another kind of I guess it's a series there's only two of them the amazing spider-man I did not like the original spider-man I know they're coming out with a new one too which pisses me off to no end but um, it might have something to do with the fact that I really love Andrew Garfield but the amazing spider-man is 
so good and the second one is also very very good i it's what it was kind of those movies i don't know if you have the same thing as me but like where you like a movie so much that you don't want to watch it like if it's on tv sometimes i can't watch it because i get too into it you know what i mean like sometimes like i'm one of those people who always has the tv on in the background and so there's plenty of movies i can play in the background of things you know like so many romantic comedies mean girls things like that but then there's the Amazing Spider-Man, which I find to be such an intense movie. I want to watch it all from beginning to end. I have to like really sit down and know that's all I'm doing. I'm not like on my phone. I'm not like editing a video or anything like that because it's just so good and it can just pull you in so much. And like, I don't know if it's just because Andrew Garfield, like something, ugh, I just have a connection with him <laughs> or I wish I did. The parts of like the relationship bits are so like genuine and cute and just like oh I give you those little feelings where you're just like oh my god why can't I have a moment like that in my life <laughs> um maybe that's just me but I would definitely recommend the amazing spider-man series 100% before the original spider-man series and then obviously you know I'm gonna say titanic and like the notebook and like the classics but I'm not gonna go down that road and there's three older movies they're not that old like 90s i'm gonna say but i thought i would just throw them out there i'm sure most of you have seen them but i feel like some people just haven't and if you like are one of those people who ha hasn't seen a lot of movies but like you've always heard of them and you know that they're good um and they're on your list and like randomly once in a while you sit down and watch an old movie these are the ones that you should watch mrs doubtfire if you haven't seen mrs doubtfire i don't know like i don't know how you're even just like living in the world like what um mrs doubtfire is one of my all-time favorite movies like 100 percent like top five list forever i just think it is so charming and so like real and like funny and hilarious but like so beautiful like it's just like a really well-rounded family movie like i think any single person would like that movie like whether it's a small child or a grandparent like, you're gonna smile through the whole thing oh just so so good just watch it if you haven't seen it and if you have seen it i know you like it and if you don't like it then i don't like you and you should just never watch one of my videos ever again um, number two uh forrest gump hands down amazing i know so many people who haven't seen it and that just blows my mind i mean it's on tv all the time but definitely watch it like from beginning to end fully it is so good i just really like tom hanks i think he's like oh, so funny i don't know why i just think that he is like a, a cool dude like i feel like if i met him in person i'd be like that is one cool guy what am I even saying? Um, obviously Forrest Gump is like such a classic that so many people should see and it just like pulls so many bits of history in it. It's like, oh, it's just such a nice story to follow. I just think anyone would really enjoy it. Like that's a movie I think every single person in the whole world should see. Go watch it if you haven't. Like obviously everyone's heard of it, but if you haven't actually seen it from beginning to end, watch it because just do it. Stepmom. Stepmom is my all time favorites. I definitely put this in that movie tag video. Stepmom is Julia Roberts and Susan Sarandon. It's kind of sad and like intense, but if you like movies that just like warm your heart but also make you cry, watch that one. Or if you just like need a good cry, watch that movie because you will cry. Obviously it's about a stepmother, like a family that's divorced. The father is going to remarry and the whole family dealing with that and like a bunch of other stuff happens and it's so good like that's a movie i will watch over and over and over and over and over again and never get sick of along with every movie on this list pretty much it just has its moments of pure like joy like oh, anything with julia roberts pretty woman's on this list too i'm not even gonna go into it if you haven't seen pretty woman i don't even know i don't know I thought, and honestly if you haven't seen a lot of these movies i don't know what to say to you um one more we're just gonna do one more keep this fast and like choppy i could do another one if you guys want like two three four like just continuously recommending movies to you guys let me know if you want that in a comment but my last movie for today that i'm going to mention is a classic from the 90s question mark i don't know but it is you've got mail you've got mail another tom hanks movie don't love meg ryan so much she kind of rubs me the wrong way i don't know why i'd highly recommend it to anyone it's a very good romantic comedy like classic romantic comedy like if you want a romantic comedy that isn't like oh my god like this is never gonna happen and like like just like that depresses you if you're kind of bitter like me but if you just love a good romantic comedy for every part of like why romantic comedies are what they are watch that one it's kind of like dating online like what it was in the 90s compared to now like it's just watching that is like so it's just so different than now things were simpler then yeah so that was my last recommendation my camera is about to die i'm gonna go but i really hope you enjoyed these recommendations let me know which movie you're gonna go watch or if you've seen all of them and you want more recommendations like i said thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe for more movie recommendations tv recommendations makeup hair fashion whatever rants all of the above and more and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Sorry if you can hear my cat purring in the background, but that's what cats do. So who just emailed me? No one important. Oh, it's hot in here. Oh, I, I, that's not what I thought.
thought that was about. <laughs> Father's got your grandma mind, bro. 